welcome to the world of the Pope Gauntlet. I'm Dan, this is round 10. It's time to play Stompy. Only three decks entered round 10 of the Pope Gauntlet. And Stompy was one of them. I have kind of a sideboard plan, I really need help on it. It's in the link in the show notes. Yes, I want to play first. Four lands. Okay, I cut one land, then it is a hand I would keep as a six lander. So I'm keeping this. But I might regret it. I do have mongrels, so the lands are not pointless. But it could be my undoing to keep that liberally. Squia is my opponent. And he is not doing anything in particular right now. So let's smack him in the face. And hit him hard. With a Nettle Sentinel. And Pitskalk. Awesome. Now I really don't want to draw land. Uh, okay, he decided not to use it. That's that's really strange. But I draw land, so now maybe I'm in danger. So let's hit him for six while thinking about all the danger I'm in. I don't really need more than three lands. I could save them for the ground swells. So, what can you do? What can you do? Mm, you can play red mana. That's that's not good at all. Red and blue. Sigit Oracle. Please play Sigit Oracle. Do it. You know you want to. Seagate Oracle. Oh, you draw two cards and look at them and then put one back. It's really nice. Do it. Squia. Seagate Oracle. Now. Uh oh. I don't think this is a Seagate Oracle play. No, no. It's a removal of some kind. Maybe bounce. Bad news for the little green guys. But here we go. We know only violence for the forest. No, he died. You killed him. And then you have like counter spells and instants for. So I'm not gonna play the rancor, but I'm gonna play Mr. Young Wolf. Mana leak now would be really embarrassing. So Mr. Young Wolf is okay, and we go. Yeah, you drew a card, boy. Actually, I fear that card quite a bit. What will you do now? What will you do? How will you live? It could be bounce, but oh my god. Well, now I pretty much have to do it. So, Ranko. Rancor. Out. That was rough. And now all he needs is a Maldrifter and uh, I'm gonna should have kept the Rancors. I think. But it's easy to be wise after the fact. A 
this is not the ton of pressure. I should have waited, I was still doing damage to him. This is me slapping myself. Okay, Mr. Isset is thinking. But is he thinking hard enough? Now that Seagate Oracle would be a ton of problems. Treasure Cruise, that's a ton of problems. Yeah, give me your comments on the rank or play. Here they come, little wolves. Gonna eat your soul. And now we know we have mana leaks, so we have to play the land. But it will probably be an exclude. It looks like an exclude. But I think not doing things now really just saves him. Because his long game is so much better than mine. So I need to finish him. Just five swings with this young wolf. Just five swings with the young wolf. But this might be the end of the road for the young wolf. Oh, how tempting. I think maybe last time I should have saved it. But this time there is no saving me. I just have to go for it here. He's running away with the crown. He only has two cards left though. And he takes that. Does he know he will flip? He doesn't. No. Let's see if he does. He doesn't. Two cards. He attacks with the Delver. He doesn't want to do this trade and I can understand that. Here we go again. Mr. Young Wolf, why do you look so bad? Mr. Young Wolf, you're never gonna kill him this way. Uh, young Wolf, no? Double young wolf. So will he flip? Don't flip. No, he flipped. With a counter spell. Then he should feel fairly safe. What the hell do I do now? Doing one point of damage. But then I'm doing two. He needs to block, he needs to trade. So I can try one of these young wolves for getting through. And I will, I will attack. This is my hour. Never have so many, have so few young wolves to thank for so little. In the words of Winston Churchill. You are a two, sir. And the young wolves can smell your death. Except that you have three cards. That's not good. And we know one of them is a counterspell. So we are at the standoff. Oh. So now his card basically has to be 
This other card has to be a removal spell. No, because we know it's a counter spell, so... What the hell will happen here? I block. He blocks. I return. He tries to bolt me. I hunger. He counter spells. So I'm doing nothing. And card advantage is just eating me up. So now I need to find some business and now I need to push, push this thing. Okay, so I wind the west with him, get that countered and then I can hunger the hull pack. So now unless he has anything. Other than the counter spell. I win. I hope. It's countered. Stop in my own end phase. To cast a hunger. And here we go. <laughs> okay, never sit with cards in your hand. Never sit with lands in your hand against Mana Leak. I should have learned that that was a critical mistake. Damn it! Wow. And I had already seen Mana Leak. There is absolutely no excuse for that. Well, I can cast this before attacking. So I know it resolves and then I can attack. Okay, play the land. Now it's wrong to play the land. He didn't use the Thermorphic Expanse, he missed it again. Mr. Delver! You are but a roadblock on the path of the young wolf. Queer Ranger! Yeah, I'm still beating up myself again about that mana leak. Horrible. Really intense here. Oh, he's waiting for a brainstorm with the Thermorphic Expanse. But now he needs to kill both my guys. Treasure Cruise. Oh my god. Now we can kill both my guys. Uh oh. Somehow I have the feeling that Stompy will not be the winner of this Pauper Gauntlet. A Muldrifter saving no red mana. Wow, will I win this? No, he'll play Mountain Lightning Bolt. Yes! Whew. Okay, is it control? Nothing is sideboard in this matchup. And I do agree. I don't think Scattershot Archer is necessary against him. 
Am I wrong? I think you need Scattershot Archer to deal with fairies. You need uh, Gleeful Sabotage to deal with Spy Golems, perhaps. But they are not here. None of them are here. So let's just crush him. We didn't see any Firebolts. We didn't see any Excludes. This should be easy. Somebody started a chat with me. Sorry for that, distracted by chat. Somebody was saying that he liked my videos. That makes me happy. This is another questionable hand, so let's keep it. It can never be wrong to play the Nettle Sentinel, but I must be careful with the uh, Rancor, defending it if necessary with uh, the Wines. But I don't think Nettle Sentinel will live that long. That is highly unlikely. But now uh, we can. He could have a dispel. He could have bolt dispel. But I'm going to risk it. Always yes, always yield. More chat. Ah, shout out to Richie RHD. Ta da! <laughs> shout out to you. Hello, YouTubers, he says. Um, Manalik. That's, of course, what he had. And I forgot it again. Is there an excuse for that? Don't think so. But the warriors are still slipping in under his cover of counterspells. Now he could have a counterspell and a bolt, but he has a thought scour. Okay, remember mana leak now. Uh, magma spray. Okay, attack with this guy, swing with mongrel. Oh, I mean, play mongrel, protect them with wines. Now we can do the queer ranger mongrel bounce trick. But it's way too early for that. What's happening now? He's gonna treasure cruise for two. And I'm gonna get a free hit. This is pretty good. Okay, six damage, six power on board and one wines. That's pretty hard to recover from. I wonder if he has any Seagate Oracles. He bolts the mongrel. Uh, okay, so then we return to forests and bounce them. Ah, 
Aha! And then we swing like crazy. Kill him! Eat his flesh! Feast on his flesh! There, finally, there's a Seagate Oracle. But if he decides to block now the wrong creature, he's going to die. He has to block the mongrel. Of course, he could play another land and do something nasty. And he hasn't played the land, so of course he will play, play land. Apparently he has a hard choice now. So I'm gonna return a forest. At the end step. And then it's all over unless he blocks the mongrel. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, groundswell. Can it still be all over depending on what he blocks? Yes. I don't know. Play that. Play the ground swell. It's not all over. Because I can only do six here. And I think I will. I misplayed that really bad, didn't I? I just needed to do it next turn. I needed to do it as an instant, of course, and not before. But I had to untap the Nettle Sentinel, so that didn't work. But he's at three. And he needs to do something really spectacular here. So I think that was the right thing to do. How can you stop the mongrel here? Yes! Okay, spoilers ahead if you haven't watched the other matches. So if you haven't watched Burn and Affinity, please turn it off now but this is what's going to happen now because uh, everybody won so everybody moves on to the next turn and that's pretty awesome so it's time for turn 11 round 11 wow and I think I'm going to play that before the Standard Popper Show next time. So you're going to get three more matches this week, at least. Thank you for watching.